Well, I'm on this trail, but I don't know if it's the right trail or not. We're supposed to be supposed to go up to the top of the ridge here on the left and hike along the top, but I don't know. Not sure. Okay, so apparently I'm on the wrong trail. And I've got to backtrack. And um, I don't know, we got uh, my hiking partner and I, we got our uh, wires crossed apparently on which way we're going, so. Morning everybody. Today we're at the uh, Ginkgo uh, Petrified Forest State Park. And um, we are uh, going to check out um, this uh, tree, I guess it's a petrified tree that's standing upright. Looks like it might be seven or eight feet tall. So it um, should be good. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get started. We've already uh, climbed some elevation and you can kind of see the view from up here. And then uh, down there is the visitor center and it has some uh, petrified uh, trunks, tree trunks of various species of trees. So we will uh, check that out on the way out, uh, on the way home today. I think we see some bighorn sheep. Uh, pretty exciting. I guess you can see them also at the visitor center down there. So uh, anyway, um, I don't know how close we'll get in our uh, fluorescent colored sweatshirts, but you never know. Okay, so they are, um, I'm talking kind of quiet because they are uh, just on the, over the ridge here, but uh, they're probably about 200 yards away. See if we can, uh, how close we can get to that cliff. Well, I don't know how close we want to get, but it looks pretty, ooh, looks pretty rotted. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Wow. And those sheep, they're just over that ridge right there, right there. Yeah, it's pretty exciting seeing those bighorn sheep. I wish we could uh, get closer. That'd be, uh, <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. But uh, my son's got his telephoto, so we'll uh, we'll see what uh, what uh, what it looks like. We are just uh, hiking through this uh, sagebrush here, and um, it uh, it's pretty much been the same for the uh, hour that we've been hiking. There's apparently a cactus out here. I have to do some more research. It's fairly it's fairly rare. It's only found in this area here, so I'd like to find that as well as the uh, petrified tree. It's very small. It's uh, desert parsley. It's not in full bloom yet, but it's getting there. Okay, we're just following this uh, road now. This very primitive road. Don't know what it was for. Like a cheap trail or something, I don't know. Okay, here we are. We're on a more uh, traveled road. And um, kind of give you an idea of the view that we're seeing up from up here. Here's this a road we're coming down. We uh, followed the road, came all the way over here, down to here. And 
you can see the still see the view the river Columbia River and I think we're leaving the state park right here Let's see what it says leaving the state park parks property huh. all right and so you have the tree down here that's not inside the state park <laughs> says collecting digging uh, or removal of any soil stone mineral or object from the state park is prohibited okay oh, i think that about covers it got a green sign down here we'll check that out in just a minute yeah i'm uh pretty tired it's only it's like four and a half miles each way but uh i don't know it just seems longer than i don't know nine miles i don't know last summer it didn't seem that long but whew, i don't know today it just seems long but this is the coolest piece let's see here's an example of the of the uh, rocks that we're finding the petrified wood can't uh can't tell if it's in focus or not Okay, so we've dropped down an elevation from up there, and uh, you can see the river again. So I come back into view, so that's nice. We're uh, getting close to the tree, I think. Um, so I have to keep, uh, keep on hiking. Okay, we're getting closer. Almost there. So. <laughs> So we found it. It's down, right down there. We just have to hike down to it. Uh, there's no road, so we're on our own. Okay, there it is. There it is. Was it worth the hike? Uh, yeah, I'd say it was worth the hike. Yep. So this thing is 15 and a half million years old and this whole area used to be covered in used to be forested covered with trees and you can see now it's just like desert look at this baby So, okay, look at this. I'm gonna get some nice uh, close-up uh, images of it here. I'm gonna walk all the way around it in just a little bit. Looks like there's a, I'm trying to get my shadow in there. Looks like there's a, wow. Like a knot right there. Look at that. Is that like fossilized lichen? Oh man. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, kind of really narrow at the bottom. Almost looks like uh, Wow, look at that. <laughs> it's hoping maybe to see the if there are any rings in there, but I can't tell. I'm trying to figure out what it might have been. What kind of tree? Maybe somebody studied this and knows another knot hole right there. Oh, 
So I'm just gonna take quite a bit of video here, just so I don't miss anything. Yeah, I don't see any bark on it. Huh. Well, what's this right here? Right there. Well, no. Well, I don't know. Could have been like some kind of a fir tree. Huh. I'm standing right like next to it. As you can see, it's about, oh, maybe seven feet tall, eight feet tall. Not sure. And you have the view out here. Almost like the true color of the wood right there. Huh. Look how it's sheared off. Sheared, sheared away. This looks like a, a sap sucker hole, but there'd be a whole string of them. Still can't get over that base. <laughs> And all those times we were over there in the Frenchman Coulee and up there on that uh, plateau and the rim around the uh, Echo Basin, we had no idea this uh, big old log was just sitting here on the other side of the river. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Yeah, another thing I didn't catch was that uh, there's the uh, boat launch down there. And then if you go up through there and then across, that's the old Bandage Highway. I did a video of that. Uh, last year and, um, and then came back down to that area right in there and hiked back to the boat launch Yeah, another thing that's uh, really great about this place today is that uh, We have not seen a single person the entire day and I've had this whole place to ourselves and uh, it's uh, It's been nice it's been really nice and uh, Like I would say it's it's a good break from a uh, civilization. So anyway, now we hike back to the car. All right. So here we are. It's the afternoon again. I'll just include this in the morning footage, probably morning part of the video, but um, it just gives you an idea of this view that we have from up here. Wow. Amazing. Before we leave today, we're gonna to stop at the uh, at the uh, um, state park headquarters and uh, check out all the uh, logs, petrified logs. Might ask the ranger too about that tree we saw today, what species it is. So, anyway, let's keep going. Yeah. Okay. We spotted this flower. Look at that thing. It's like some kind of like a little buttercup, I think. I take a picture of it, but I don't have my, my phone's my cam my camera's in my pack. I don't know how close I can get. It's very, uh, it's almost waxy looking. Oh, okay. What are that canvies? Desert parsley. I think it's canvies. It's very small. I just have to catch how blue that water is. We came through here this morning and I tell you, it was, uh, ah, it wasn't like that. Oh, nice. Okay, I've just got to capture this. Uh... Flower. Oh. It's opening in the sun. Oh. Okay, hold on. i got to capture this right here. That's uh, this view. Wow. The shadows are hitting the canyon now. Oh. Spectacular. I think we found another wildflower here. Yeah. It's, uh, this is a little vetch of some sort. 
Look, Vetch. Huh. Okay, I've seen a few of those today, but they're really tiny still. The light has really changed. It's become very dramatic. Won't get too close, but. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. A little closer. There we go. Okay, you're looking at the town of Vantage, Washington out there. You can see the bridge going across the Vantage Bridge. Yeah, I like I like this log right here. It um, looked like there was uh, perhaps bark that was left on the outside of it. And yeah. you can hear uh, talking in the background. The visitor center was like uh, the area where the logs are was uh, quite uh, quite full. Some of these logs were they were um, not as impressive as what we saw earlier out there in the uh, along the that standing petrified tree. I'll, I can, I'll say that much for it. And they're just kind of, these logs are just kind of, you know, spread out across the, uh, this gravel, rocky area. So more of that one I think we saw earlier that had, looked like it had the bark on it. And um, really like like the green, kind of see the green of the wood underneath. More, more wood grain. Looks like there's a knot hole right there. Yeah, these some of these visitors were kind of disrespectful. One guy was kicking on the kicking on the, one of the tree and one of the logs. I don't know if he was trying to get it to roll over or, or what the story was, but um, oh, look at the wood grain there. Oh, I like that. That's nice. I don't know what those black areas are. Can't get over all the colors on these. This one right here. This this was quite colorful. Kind of reminded me of what we saw earlier. It's almost rust-colored wood grain. More wood grain. Yeah. Now this one was definitely my favorite. It um, really just had like this. It really just had like this wood-like quality to it. All right, well, I can't believe we found this tree. Um, it, uh, it's pretty spectacular. It was definitely worth the uh, four, four and a half miles that we, uh, we hiked to get here. and. Um, if you guys like this video be sure to give it a like um, otherwise share and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you next time